Hey everybody, welcome back to Kirby Triple Deluxe. Last time, we went through Wild World, which was pretty wild. And also, I screwed a, thing, a lot of things up. And also barely talked about the game. Today, we're jumping into Endless Explosions. Which again, the greatest fucking world name ever. Who names a region of a world Endless Explosions? I don't know, but I love it. And I love this music too. It's not really dubstep, it's more just like... Wub wub? <laughs> that's not that's not a genre of music, but uh that's what I'm calling it. It's not it's not really dubstep, I don't know. It's more I have no idea what kind like genre what genre I would call this, to be honest with you. I love this song though, it's really good. The, that goes without saying when it comes to triple lux, doesn't it? I love every song in this game. But it does feel very climactic, even though this isn't the final world of the game, but it's good for a lava level, which I guess is supposed to feel climactic. I mean, I, I guess, even if it's not the final level, I don't know. <laughs> I still love how Kirby with uh, the parasol just kind of floats down gently. Anyway, unlock that door to get this uh, sunstone. You need, you don't need the invincibility, but it's helpful because it's eh, kind of narrow pathway. That you need to get through up there. So, inventory is helpful. And we also have all these uh, meteors that are going to be raining down on us all throughout this level. Um, yeah, I want leaf. Or I guess I want parasol back. Sure. Uh, so, very rarely in Kirby games, they give you the invincibility as well as, like, they give you it just before a boss. And I think they do it once, like, every Kirby game, but it's always fun. Actually, the only other time I remember, I remember them doing it wasn't Superstar, and I'm almost positive they also had you fight a Mr. Frosty. What does Hal have against Mr. Frosty that they just let him get annihilated by invincibility? <laughs> um, so we need to have ice, or we can also use Parasol because it's um, standard B attack. Also lets you uh, freeze those lava blocks to get into this option lore because we'll need to get a keychain. However. It's much easier to get this, uh, this sunstone here. Did I say keychain before? Whatever, sunstone. With ice, because you can ice skate over the lava to freeze it. Whereas with parasol, you would just have to be very careful in how you attack, because you don't want to destroy the one under the, uh, under where the chest is going to fall, obviously. So you kind of, you kind of got to be a little bit careful there. Anyway, got to get wheel here, because we're going to have to race a kitty down these slopes. And of course, we're going to have to kill him when the time comes. You don't want to hit any of the lava because I don't believe Wheel is immune to it. You just want to get down here as fast as possible to this warp star. And just sort of wait under here for him to show up. I've had some close calls with that. You can take maybe one hit, but that's pretty much all you can do. If you get hit more than once, you're kind of screwed to get that key, unfortunately. Anyway, uh, this room hides another secret. If we destroy this terrain block here, we can run into a wall. We can get the... Oh my god. This level just wants to delay me at every turn, doesn't it? There's a rare keychain at the end of this path. But unfortunately, these volcanoes keep erupting rudely. I'm just trying to get to, get to where I need to go. And the apocalypse is trying to stop me. Stupid earth. Also, a couple one-ups. That's awful, I guess. And otherwise, I mean, how much more of this level do we have left? I mean, we've gotten all the sunstones. We haven't used swords since World 1. <laughs> I don't think we have, at least. It's been a long time. Sword was, like, my favorite ability growing up playing Kirby games. That's just because I liked Zelda a lot. And I was like, oh my god, sword is so cool. It is an effective ability, but it's, like, not my favorite. I like the more quirky abilities, though, like Circus. Uh, circus is so fun. And I will never stop loving it. Powers like Sword, though. Eh, they're effective. I guess just as a kid. As a kid, I was, like, obsessed with swords, though. Like, I loved, like, toy swords. I would mess around with them all the time. Link was just cool because he had a sword. What the fuck is this thing? I, again, haven't played Mass Attack. Why does it have, like, 
boomerangs for feet, I guess? I don't know. That's really weird. Mass Attack has some weird designs. I don't know if Hell made Mass Attack. I have played a little bit of it, and it kind of reminded me of, like, Yoshi's Island DS, visually. Which isn't exactly a bad thing. I mean, that game didn't look bad. Um... I mean, it looked better than Yoshi's on DS. Yoshi's on DS had some, like, weird things going on with it. I think I actually need Spear. But I also will need this bomb, so hopefully I'm not screwed. Yeah, there we go. We're fine. Get out of the way. Uh, I don't know if I need Spear, but I feel like I do. I could be remembering the level wrong. Uh, though it's helpful to have it anyway, I guess, because now we're underwater. Though also we could have used Sword underwater, so... I don't know. Actually, we need Ninja. Because Ninja actually has a um, an ability in water that otherwise doesn't show up. Um, what am I saying? It has an ability in water in one specific case. When you're on water, you get this little bamboo stick. You can shoot water up, straight up. Whereas otherwise you'd only be able to shoot it forward with any other ability. It's adorable. Absolutely adorable. But that's the only thing Ninja can do in water. So, kind of cool has a unique ability. Uh, I don't think any other ability kind of does that. No other ability has a specific use case in a specific, like, section of water, I guess. So Ninja's very unique in that sense. And whoops, I meant to just fly, not run right into the Scarfy. Anyway, we need to go down here because I believe there's either a Sunstone or a Rick Keychain. There's a Sunstone. Cool. Oh, did we already- we already got the Rick Keychain. The Rick Keychain is the fucking Ninja thing I just did. Duh. <laughs> I just did it. I was talking about it, praising it. I guess I just wasn't paying attention. Whatever. Well, we got it, so that's cool. Uh, should I heal? You know what? I'm gonna heal with the cherry and I get the medicine back because the medicine ha heals a lot more uh, HP than the cherry. Circus! Yes! <laughs> Excitement. Overwhelming. And I don't even remember what this mini boss is. It's Blocky again! What's up, buddy? We just fought you, like, last world. So, hi, again, I guess. I, I don't know. I was making some sort of point earlier. No, I wasn't. What was I talking? I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Alright. Just come in from the background, dude. We'll hop around you. Do we need a rock? Ow. Yes, we do. Um, one for revenge, because he hurt us in death, and two, I do think we just actually need rock for something. Also, it's just helpful, because rock, uh, goes right through water, so if we stop here, we just go right through all this water. We can also get rock in this room, I believe, if we go over here. There should be a platform up here, yeah, we can get rock. And get hurt by him as well. Jesus, I'm just not doing well against rocks today. And we need to stop here, because I believe there's lava... And uh, we just need rock to pound this in to give us an optional door. Stone, it's called stone. Oh, okay, we need to let go of that bomb and then rush over here because we need to pound in all of these stakes to allow that um, time bomb to fall and break this block so we can actually get the sunstone. You gotta react quickly there. You can leave and re-enter the room, of course, if you don't react as quick as you need to. I barely made it there. So, you might have to restart that room. I wouldn't be surprised. I've had to restart that room many times. Anyway, hypernova section. Let's do this. And if I remember right, yeah, I mean, this one's adorable. But overall, another one I'm not too fond of. This poor Waldi! Oh my god! Oh my god, that poor thing! I feel so bad for it. It's just like, it was made dizzy in death. That is the worst thing you could ever hope for. Or not hope for, uh, fall victim to. Anyway, gotta lure all these guys out of their pipes and then suck up their tongues so that we can go through their pipes ourselves. <clears throat> maybe, uh, maybe word that a little bit differently in the future, but hey, that's what you gotta do. All these guys hang on the ceiling, they're dead. <laughs> a mother and its children, apparently, the one who's bigger. But yeah, ultimately, there's a few puzzles in here later on, but right now it's just kind of meh. This one's alright. It's an alright Harpenover section. It kind of combines two visual gimmicks. That's kind of cool. You suck up the 
Uh, well, you suck up things to the vacuums, and you suck up those giant eels. So, pretty interesting, I guess. But, uh... I don't know, again, it just... <sighs> Hype Nova is hit or miss for me. A lot of the time. I feel so bad for the Waddle Dees. They don't deserve this. Also, how does Kirby selectively spit these things out? Like, how does he selectively not suck everything up into the black void that is his stomach? How does that work, exactly? Really weird. Anyway, we do have a little puzzle coming up, I believe. Well, once you get through all these pipes. These are really big pipes as well. I know they're for the la these land barbars or whatever. They're yeah, they're land barbars. Really weird name. Land Barbar. I don't even know what it's really supposed to be. I guess, well, I guess there's a Barbar in the ocean, and this one's on the land, but I don't know what a Barbar is. I think they just call them, like, Schmeels or something, because, like, every Kirby enemy is basically the animal or the power it gives you, plus some weird grammar thing. Like, there's Bird On, uh, Leaf In, so you think they just call it, like... Shmeal. Shmeal would work. Okay, you go really far. I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, what's to the right here? Are we just blocked by the pipe? Yeah, okay, I think so. Yeah, just blocked by that. Okay. No secrets. The Hypernova theme is really, like, exciting. I mentioned it a couple times, but I never really given any time to listen to it. I don't know. It's nice. Honestly, I don't know if it's anything... S I mean... <sighs> I don't want to say it's anything that special, because I do really enjoy it. But again, it kind of gets blown out of the water, in my opinion, by the Robobot theme. Also, I think, I don't know, Super Billy theme is alright, too. <laughs> okay, I, like, I do like how we suck up the end of the level. That's really creative and fun. I love that a lot. <laughs> And then just simply another goal game here. Ooh, ice. Hi. Can I just mention that I love how Kirby does a little moonwalk in his dance there? It's amazing. Uh, Nightmare's Power Orb, very simple. Mr. Frosty, who we've been terrorizing with invincibility power-ups since Superstar, apparently. <laughs> I'm sure there's other games where you kill other bosses with the invincibility power-up, but I don't remember them, so they probably didn't happen. That's how it works, right? <laughs> oh, this song! I don't know what- like, it's just really nice! <laughs> For some reason, I just really love this song. I just... The melody of it? I don't know. It's something really, really good about it to me. It's one of my favorite songs in the game. Uh, anyway, the gimmick of this level is we're sometimes going to be chased by uh, mud walls, I guess? I actually don't know what to call them! Oh my god! It's right there. I was going to go back for that star, but nope. Too late, too late, too late. Let's get out of here. Uh, yeah, mud walls with spikes. <laughs> that just sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh card, to be honest with you. Mud wall with spike! So frankly, that'd be like Mega Man's worst enemy. This would be a nightmare for him. Though, frankly, a bigger nightmare is probably that he hasn't like gotten anything to do in a few years. Even Archie, like, aren't they? Did they just cancel the Sonic books? I don't know if they canceled the Mega Man books. Maybe they canceled the Mega Man books a while back, and that's what I'm thinking of. Because I know recently Archie just like stopped making the Sonic books. But I don't know if, um, if they've been making the Mega Man books since. But, like, since, like, the Worlds Collide or Unite thing. Uh, let's see. What do I have to do here? I think... Do I have to tilt it, like, a certain amount? I don't remember. I think slightly to the left is right. Yeah, there we go. And we have to do that again for this one in order to get the rare keychain. Alright, nice. And then we just need to launch straight up. And this also gives us a sunstone. Didn't I have a fighter before? What happened to fighter? What did I do with it? 
I don't remember. I don't remember what happened. I guess I don't have it though. I I can't remember what happened to it. But oh well. Uh, only thing down here is stars or whatever that shot so can have the scale all to himself. Okay, seriously, how did that happen? How did that Weldy die? It wasn't even really on the spikes. I'm gonna be on the spikes anyway. I'll be careful. Jesus. Uh, so let's see. We have to use this uh, time bomb here, but before we can, we have to raise that platform up so we can access this higher up ledge and break this block. Yep. Eh, pretty fun. Pretty fun puzzle. And that's simply a uh, sunstone. And let's see. What else? Got more scales. Poppy bro. How many times have we... Oh yeah, you can also stick into walls with Spike here. I completely forgot. But that that's a thing you can do. Also block projectiles like that. So, I don't know. Spike can be pretty defensive as well. As well as uh, somewhat offensive. Mostly, though, it's a defensive ability. Anyway, uh, third moving spike wall, mud wall thing here. And it's also where our final sunstone is going to be. So we need to get you out of the way. Oh my god, okay. Um, the spikes are an instant kill. But being crushed is. Uh, <laughs> I think we've seen... Have we seen crushing? I don't remember. It's. I mean, you just die. It's not really anything special. We've seen death before. All of us have. Um, so I don't think we've seen crushing, but we've seen death. So, you know, whatever. No difference. Anyway, we need to be quick here in this final part because we need to get to the door that's slightly higher up. And that leads us to uh, an upper section here with the sunstone. And I believe that's about it for that level. Yep. I was about to say, that's the end door right there. Nope, that's a teleporter. Which leads us to the end door right there. And this Explosions is a pretty fun level. A lot of bite-sized levels that are pretty fun. Even the Hypernova section wasn't that long. Um, and had some pretty uh, fun visual gags, at least. So, yeah. I, I really like Endless Explosions. It's probably one of my favorite worlds along with Wild World. And, um... Uh, what else? I guess I just like, like those two. There's Drossy as well. You can see some resemblance to Paintra. Oh, okay, Poppy Brothers Seniors technically makes an appearance. I was wrong. <laughs> and then, yeah, that one time Master Hand appeared in the Kirby games. To give you the Smash Brothers ability. Which, again, was absent since Amazing Mirror until Robobot. So, that's interesting. I think that was an Amazing Mirror. Um, that was a weird time. <laughs> it was really weird going into Amazing Mirror and be like, huh, that's weird. Master Hands here. And then I have to wonder, because I, did, I didn't know shit as a kid. I didn't know when Smash Brothers came out. I didn't, for the longest time, I didn't even know there was an N64 game of Smash Brothers. Um, actually, did I? I must have known, because there was um. In the trophy room of Melee, there was an S64 with Smash Brothers in it, so I must have known. Maybe I thought that was just fake. <laughs> I don't know. But, no, I think I must have known it existed. I just didn't play it for a very long time, but I, I think I questioned when Amazing Mirror came out in relation to that or something. I also didn't know when the S64 version came out. And I just thought, hey, maybe Smash Brothers actually got it from Kirby. No, it's from Smash. And Kirby took it from there. But, I don't know, I was a stupid kid. <laughs> How was I supposed to know these things? I was gonna say, I couldn't just Google it, but I probably easily could. I didn't actually have a computer of my own for the very for a very long, uh, long time. Um, the first laptop I got was a piece of shit for one. But also, um... When was it? It was in... Like, 5th grade? 6th grade? Something like that? I don't know how old I was, because I'm really bad at, like, giving ages to these things. Like, I cannot remember how old I was in any specific grade. I should be able to, but, like, all I have to... Uh, every single time I have to, like, remember that, for whatever reason, I have to, like, consider how old I am now, and then count backwards until I reach the year I was, uh, I was trying to get to. Um, I'm not a very smart person for that, uh, in that case. Numbers confuse me. <laughs> Uh, that's about it, really. 
You know what? We haven't showed off sleep yet. There you go. There's sleep. We just fall asleep for a lot, for a little bit, and uh, yeah, that's that's about it. That's the extent of that power, quote unquote. <laughs> I do. It's it's cute. It's just really useless. So again. Boom or clean or whatever the hell it's called was more useful than that even if it was kind of a joke ability It could actually do damage. I want broom back. Give me broom. It was funny Anyway, we need archer in this room because there's a bomb block We're gonna need to break uh, later. That was a really difficult sentence to say while also trying to play video games Yeah, I believe it's right up here. Yep Need to break. Oh, that was just a star. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, maybe it's this one then. It is, yes. And up here, this is aim straight up, and there is a door. Oh, yeah, and now we need to tilt this guy in a way that we can actually arc an arrow through him. It'll bend a little bit to, uh, to help you out, but generally you need a pretty straight shot. That, well, this should work in theory. Yeah, there we go. I guess it's a charge shot. Maybe it has a wider hitbox, so it doesn't work. I don't know. I think the arrow would still be like the same, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Anyway, second sunstone there. And otherwise, we should get to this room. There's a keychain there. And I believe we have another hypernova section on this uh, on this level. I don't know if it's coming up, but I believe we do have one later. Rather, coming up soon. I mean, it's coming up eventually because there is one, but. <laughs> Um, I don't know if it's coming up like really soon. Make it over there, Kirby! Oh my god, that was close. Keychain that though. <laughs> back to calm, back to calm, back to quiet. Bob Ross. Wait, is there something up there? No. Okay, it's just the ceiling changes for some reason. Get up there! Okay, stressful. Yeah, it can be kind of tricky with these, uh, like painted on backgrounds on some of these sections, I guess. To distinguish, I tried to just dodge into there, but whatever. There's our keychain at the end of this section. Just need to break it to rain block, that's all. And yes, here's our hypernova section right here. This one's pretty fun. Honestly, I like this one a lot. Uh, let's grab that. Because this one involves drills. Rather, it involves these fans, and we need to sort of just drill along here because I have drills on the front. And we can go through these platforms. Let's completely obliterate them. And we also need to avoid these lava spouts as we're going. Uh, we can't make that. We can just barely stand here to avoid that terrible fate I almost subjected myself to. We also have to avoid these spinning fire pits. Uh, pits? Uh, bars, I guess. So it's very, um interactive one, I suppose, where you're actively doing things. <laughs> Those are the best type of sections, in my opinion. Because we, act act uh, we actively have to avoid things and time when we suck to, uh, to get the best effectiveness out of our suck. Anyway, between here, if we fly up, there's a sunstone. So there's our third one. And no, maybe not great. Can we not suck through the lava? I thought we could. Whatever. Wait, you need to be pretty quick as well because you need to get through those drills before those lava spots might catch you. I don't know. I just really like this one personally. <laughs> Kirby is unaffected. Kirby suck is non-stop. Vontor birds have nothing on him. This one's, this is cute though. You kind of drill into him and open his mouth up because this is just a machine, I guess. Who who made all of these like weird tiki things that we can drill into? Who made like anything in the Kirby world? I guess this is like Floralia anyway, so it's it's excusable. But also, we've had so many games on Popstar. Why does Popstar have so many like? Okay, so every Kirby game, you seem to go to like the same five points of Popstar. You know, the five points of the star. And there seems to be a desert on every single one. So, why... Like, why are there so many deserts so close to each other in the Kirby series? Do we just change the name of the desert every so often and keep discovering new locations? I mean, video game, I know. But I'm just questioning 
the logistics and the realism of the Kirby world, because that's a completely reasonable thing to do, obviously. Also, I love the, the name of these guys. Uh, I believe they're called the Winged Eggers. <laughs> uh, I just, the egg is just, a, it's a funny word. It's just a funny word. There's no way around it. Oh, oh right, this guy's gonna try to jupe you, jupe you, juke you. That's jupe. Uh, by flying around like that. Just gotta be quick. That's about it. And we fucking roast them in a volcano. Jesus Christ. That is... I... Wow. I've never thought about all those guys died, but that is brutal. <laughs> and yeah, they're just fucking dead. They're melted. Jesus Christ. All right. I feel bad now. So let's have some happy music and dancing to celebrate the death of the winged eggers at the hands of the maniacal Kirby. Does that look like the face of mercy to you? Looks like the face of Poyo. Anyway, Rocky. Let's see what do we got? Uja? I don't even remember that. I haven't played Squeak Swan so long. Oh yeah, uh, Ultra introduced the Soul bosses, and um, Mark's Soul was basically the same, except when it died, it ripped in half. So that was fun, I guess. It also had a really fucking loud scream. So, that was enjoyable. Otherwise, it was basically the same fight, as far as I remember. It wasn't really the greatest Soul fight, to be really honest with you, but it was the introduction. I believe it was. I don't believe any game before it had it, but a lot of games since have. Actually, want Leaf for this. Uh, because this is like a mini boss rush that we're going to be going through, and Leaf will be very effective in that fight. In the many fights we have coming up, though, we're actually going to have to drop it pretty quickly. Uh, because we actually have to use um, each of these abilities to get a Sunstone. I believe Return to Dreamland had a level basically just. What hit me? Basically just like this. Um, it might be the same music, even. I think it did, um, where you had to fight a bunch of mini-bosses and use their abilities in order to get a specific stone, or a specific, uh, gear. At least this, though, it shows you in the background that you'll need it, so you're not, like, guessing that you'll need it later. Though, it was at the, the sort of end of Return to Dreamland. It was near the end, at least, so by that point, you'd probably gotten used to every time there's a mini-boss, get its ability, because it's going to be really helpful, because you're gonna need it to get a gear. Return to Dreamland loves doing that, and that's probably my biggest complaint about that game, honestly. Anyway, yeah, we're just trying to show off how effective Wheel can be during a boss fight. We can just sort of go back and forth here and do a ton of damage really quick. And that's Mr. Frosty finished off. Uh, we don't really need his power to do this, but hey, whatever. I guess it's sort of helpful because we can just stand here and breathe ice, and then ice skate over. We also could have easily used Wheel for that, so don't exactly need their abilities. That's kind of nice. So we could get Spear here. I haven't really used Ice much at all. I've used it maybe once. I also haven't used... There's a lot of powers I haven't used that much. Um, like, there's not enough time to show off all of them. I think I have shown off every ability, though. So, I'm, I'm happy with it. Yeah, Beetle, though. I've used Beetle more than... Than a lot of other abilities. I really like Beetle. It's fun. And Circus. I love all the new abilities that were introduced in Triple Deluxe. Very, very good uh, array of new abilities. Even if, like, Circus is a very weird one, it's a very effective one. And it's just a, a fun one. This one, though, we pretty much do exactly need Beetle. Though we probably could have used Spear as well. Um, or kept the Leaf. If uh, we didn't want to get the first Sunstone, I guess. Because we kind of need Wheel for that one, at least. Although, well, I guess you don't. You could use invincibility frames or just maybe even fly above the lava. I don't know. There's probably ways around it. But it's supposed to have wheel. Anyway, ignore that first 3D warp star there because you want to go up and get to the second one. Because that will give you Mike. I guess we'll take it. Um, I don't want to really use it on these guys. Even if it was you for us. Well, well, I guess I'm using it by accident anyway. I was trying to just breathe puffs, but whatever. And there's our rare keychain for that level as well. And I guess we can just use Mike to finish off the bonkers here. Scream to death. Oh, he didn't quite die. That's that's too bad. 
Oh, come on then. Get out of the background, let me hit you. Wait, when do you make stars, dude? Dude. Oh, I guess you don't make stars, you throw these, like, coconut things, right? Anyway, last sunstone should be right here, and of course, I say of course, but there's no reason to say of course. Enemies will drop down if we wait too long in there. We'll let them live. They're all adorable. They don't deserve to die. Well, maybe the cobra is not really adorable, but it's uh, certainly a thing. So, I mean, it doesn't deserve to die either way. Adorable or not, who cares? Whatever. <laughs> Here's the end of the level. Yeah, pretty quick level. At least the boss rush goes by quickly, or the uh, mini boss rush. Because otherwise it'd be kind of meh. And what do we get here? We get Gimp. Okay, Yo-Yo, I missed that ability as well. <laughs> All right. It's mini Kirby. Um, I missed Yo-Yo. Yeah, it's... um, Dreamland Bandit. All right. Um, that was a really fun ability. But, oh well. Why hasn't it returned? Like, there's not really a good reason I can think of. It, it was fun. It was effective. Why not bring it back? Anyway, I wanted to delay going to this boss for a number of reasons. So, we're going to go to the special stage, because we don't do that every level, of course. We totally do. I'm just, I just don't want to fight this boss right now. So, let's go to the extra stage. And again, I don't really remember what this one is. I mean, there's tilt gondolas, so... That gives us some information. Well, there certainly are. It starts with that. We can actually even see the exact frame picture they took. Uh, I think I'll keep Hammer. He spelled quite a bit. I said I'll keep Hammer, excuse you. And of course, this uses um, music from Return to Dreamland, just as uh, all these like, stages have. And this one. Was this from the Lava World of Return to Dreamland? Probably. Was there a Lava World of Return to Dreamland? I just played it, and for some reason. I can't remember. It's not that the game's unmemorable. I think I've just been really busy and scatterbrained lately, so I can't remember, like, fucking anything, basically. <laughs> Return of a good game, though. I, I did enjoy it. Anyway, down here, a uh, terrain block with a keychain. Also, frankly, a lot of Kirby games I've played a ton, so at some point they just kind of become, um, well, personally mindless to me because I've played them so much that I just sort of go and know what I'm doing. If that makes sense, it's kind of like when I play Cave Story in Okami, I just sort of go. I don't really think about what I'm doing, because I don't really have to, honestly. Um, you know, when you've played a game literally, like, hundreds of times in the case of Cave Story, that's kind of what ends up happening, or like 30 times in the case of Okami. But, uh, yeah. I haven't played Kirby games quite that much, not every Kirby game at least. Like, I've played this one... I think I've done maybe seven full playthroughs. I've done like eight or nine full playthroughs of Roblox. I love that game. But uh, I've done like three, four playthroughs of Superstar Ultra. Only one playthrough of Squeak Squad. Maybe two. I've probably, I've probably done like two. Once when I got it, one when I was a kid and just wanted to play it again. Anyway, we need to use this uh, 3D bar to protect this Kiri as he makes his path forward because there's going to be the apocalypse raining down on him. So we need to protect him from all that. We also need to not get killed ourselves, collect this roasted donut. I really wouldn't want to eat a donut that's been um, fried like that. Not, not over like open lava. Anyway, he's going to go and open that door for us. We need to get him. Oh, now he's dead. I was going to try and like talk him out of it, but that's his, his purpose in life, I guess. And we need to do it again. That one is, was just for a keychain. This one is, I believe, going to be for a sunstone. So this one's a lot more important. Also a lot more difficult. We need to time things a lot better. Um, because there's going to be one, still, the apocalypse raining down. And also, I think some other pathways we need to make for them that we need to time properly. Okay, that was just going to make toast. And that would have been pretty, pretty okay. I, I, I don't know if I'd want toast that was roasted over open lava again. But, you know... It's an option. Yeah, we need to hit all of these. 
can be a bit tricky because that one's a bit high up. But otherwise, not too bad. And... Where did he go? Oh, I guess he found the lava again. Rip. Whatever. Everyone dies one day. I guess he just decided that now would be his time. Oh, I need Archer. Okay, one second. Oh, well. I tried to get rid of Hammer, and I threw it and killed him. Great. Awesome. Okay, well, let's try this again. We have another one of these tilt guys here that we need to move, move to shoot through. Nothing complicated, but there is a Scarfy block in the past, so we actually need to charge up a bit. Or, we, you know, alternatively, we could just shoot two different arrows, but that's easier. Okay. What is it easier is, you know, making that jump, apparently. This one seems smaller, but I think it is just perspective that uh, that's tricking me there. We only charge up all the way to go through the uh, Scarfy. I think the uh, second charge here does penetrate enemies. But the third one is just so much more fun. I grabbed that like the same damn frame it came out. That was... That's kind of impressive. <laughs> also completely luck, but hey. I'm gonna say it was on purpose because I want it to be impressive. That one can live. We've already killed like two of his brothers. Three of his brothers because of accidents and general murderous need. Uh, bloodlust. Anyway, more is moving spike walls here. I, I don't know, why is like, why is it sand or mud or what's going on there? I don't even know, but I kind of like it. It's nice, and it's, nice, it's a nice visual thing. Also when it's um like in the foreground, it looks really interesting. Hopefully we won't see that because I don't want to die. Okay, okay, I guess I'm getting beetle because I don't have a choice to go back. Especially since it fucking hit the spikes. That was lucky. Actually, beetle is like really good for this section. Wow, I didn't realize that. All right, cool. I'm happy with taking beetle then. Of course, we need all these keys uh, in order to get some secrets, including, you can probably guess, the sunstone. I'm just going to take that hit there. I'm not going to risk it. And above that teleporter, we need to fly up and then quickly drop back down. That is our rare keychain. And otherwise, we just need to make it to the end of the level. Actually, you don't even need the keys to get secrets. We just need to get through the damn level and avoid the spike wall. And, oh god, another one of these sections. They went so well last time. So excited to do another. I do like these uh, these background elements though that uh, better interact with you. This game actually does something with it, which I, I mean, like I love games like Donkey Kong Country Returns, but that game, well, it kind of popularized the like going into the, and out of the foreground and background gimmick. Um, it didn't really do anything with it. It was purely a visual thing. Like, no enemies or elements got at you from the background. It was all just, now you're in the background doing platforming, and now you're in the foreground doing platforming. That was basically its entire gimmick. And it's fine. It's not bad, but, like, it just feels kind of tacked on at that point because it doesn't do anything with it. I don't know. Love that game, but that is, uh... A weird thing with it. It's not really even an issue. It's just like, why bother with this gimmick that you don't do anything with besides it being a visual thing? I don't know. It's really weird to me. Anyway, a bunch of teleporters here and a bandana D. Guess we'll heal up and take the ice cream instead. That'll be helpful. And um, Bell. I want Bell. Bell's cool. Also has like a invincible. Invincible guard. If you guard, you just don't take any damage because you're a bell. Also, all these uh, extra stages, I probably should have mentioned this way earlier in the game, but whatever. Uh, introduce harder versions of the mini bosses. They have some new attacks, as well as just generally hit harder. A little bit harder to deal with. Nothing too drastic, but a little bit harder. There are also um, DX versions of all the bosses, but those are only fought in the true arena, as I've mentioned. Not as I've mentioned, but I've mentioned that before. And, um, they're fought in a side mode as well that you can access after being the game that we will, uh, be covering. As I always do, I always cover, like, everything in video games, so, you know. Of course we'll be covering it. Anyway, Final Sunstone for, uh, endless explosions. Not so endless now, but, I don't know. These worlds are going by a lot faster. For some reason, like, Old Odyssey just seems like a really long world. I don't know.
Man, he looked like a, a gangster there with his moonwalking and the backwards cap. Good on you, Kirby. Good name, Birdie. Good fucking name for an enemy. Bobo, good, okay. And Yin Yarn. I've always liked the design of I That's just because I like the look of Epic Yarn, though, really. Like, Epic Yarn just had a really nice visual style. I mean, of course it did. I mean, it was made out of yarn. It was adorable and, and looked lovely. Willy World also looked very, very, very good. I just, good feel, I, I don't know, like, that's the company that made uh, Epic Yarn and, and uh, Willy World, by the way. I didn't just say good feel for no fucking reason. Uh, I'll take the bomb. I don't know, I like their games. I mean, I've only played... No, 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 Good Feel made uh, Waterland Shake It, didn't they? I played that, and I like... I like that game, but one problem I have with it is you have to buy maps to access new levels, which means you often have to replay older levels. If, especially if you're shitty at the game, I guess, and, aren't, and don't find things like me. Otherwise, yeah, the game is really good. It looked beautiful. Um... Had pretty nice music as well, from what I remember. And uh, what else? I don't know. They, they just make really good-looking games, I guess, and just fun platformers with like usually some flaw. Anyway, high ribbit here, the boss. Um, eh, he's all right. He's probably the hardest boss in the game for one, but. He, his fight also just drags on and on, and it's just not fun after a while. Like, he's hopping in and out of the background constantly. He's in the background, while he's in the foreground, so you can't really attack him that much. That's why I didn't go with Fighter, because, like, I don't know. I, I'm, bad, I'm bad with Fighter, and I'll probably miss a lot of hits. Uh, that attack, he would have started bouncing around. That's a decent time for you to hit him, especially if you have Bomb and can aim your shots like that. But overall, not a great attack. You might as well try and avoid uh, than really go all, uh, all out offensive on him. Anyway, when he's in the background like this, he's going to spawn these fire pillars that I just tend to dodge to avoid. I don't know how you avoid them otherwise, to be brutally honest with you. Besides, uh, like, when there's a gap in it like that. But when there's not a gap, I, I mean, some of them are further back than others, so I guess you could run... I like I tried to do there, run in between them, but I've never been able to do that, so I just dodge, and it works perfectly fine, so. Just do the- oh, goddammit. Because I got hit and missed my chance to attack him, ugh. This is, this is easily the worst boss in the game, because it just takes so fucking long. So long without, like, anything interesting really happening. Anyway. Oh. Uh, I think I can duck to avoid that attack, yeah. Uh, he'll just be fire. You want to either duck, I guess, or float above it. And these here, you want to stop them from exploding on the floor, I guess. This is going to uh, spit fire in like, a circle here. Just fly above to avoid it, as usual. I do like how it like uh, chars the screen a little bit, so you can't really see your, uh, what's going on all that well. Kind of nice visual gag. And I hate that attack. I... <laughs> No matter what I do, it sometimes it just seems like I get hit by it. Oh, wow, that did a lot more damage than I expected. I guess that's finishing him off. Damn. Damn. That guy is dead. He is so fucking dead. And I'm happy about it. With that, we've opened the way to the final world, which is Royal Road. We'll finally find Teranza here and find out exactly what's going on, what this Dreamstalk is, where it came from, why he kidnapped DDD, and figure out why this world looks so beautiful. Oh my god, the moon. Oh my god, it looks so good. 
Anyway, that's going to be it. See you guys next time for Royal Road.